We live in a world full of electricity. As cities grow and production grows even higher, the demand for continuous reliable energy reaches high peaks. Homes are becoming more and more dependent on electricity. Today's smart systems allow power generators to automatically turn on the power supply when electricity on the grid is turned off. But how do they make one? A generating set is made up of a diesel, gas or petrol engine and an alternator, configured in such a way as to produce electrical power. Generating sets have a very complex mechanism. Before reaching their final destinations, at first they have to be designed in the factory by specialists, in conformity with the special conditions where they will be placed. After this stage, the generating sets are ready to be assembled. At first, the chassis of the generating set is brought and placed in a special spot in the factory. The engine is one of the main parts. The fuel needed to run can vary from petrol, diesel or JPL. It is mounted together with the alternator. They are placed on special supports with anti-vibration properties, especially designed to reduce the level of vibrations that occur when the generating sets will be running. The next part is the alternator that is placed in place with the help of special hinges. The bolts are then tightened, fixing it on the chassis next to the engine. The alternator is the one that takes the rotation movement and transmits it from the axle of the engine and through a special system converts this rotation movement into electrical current. Next comes the radiator which is carefully placed in front of the engine. Through the radiator enters hot water coming from the engine, which is cooled and sent back into the circuit. In the case that the genset power is very high, there can be mounted more ventilators. The automation panel monitors the functions of the generating sets in real time and alerts the user through its framework of sensors. It is screwed tightly next to the alternator. A worker makes the final adjustment connecting the wiring. All the functions are monitored and in case of problems the alerts go off. The functioning parameters can be visualized starting from frequency to the fuel level. They are equipped with thermal circuit breaker, a safety mechanism which stops the current in the event of a power surge. It prevents overheating and overloading as well as short circuits. Here comes the testing phase. At this stage, the generator is placed into a sound insulated room with special exhaust circuits. The room is equipped with automatized grids that allow air to enter. Thus, the generating sets can work. Here is where all the final tests take place. Before they can be sent to work, some generators come together with housing. The silenced canopy has a protection role if the generating sets are placed outside of a building, also assuring a low level of noise. A special forklift is used to insert the generator into the canopy, which is driven by a very skillful operator. The fuel tank can be integrated in the chassis or can be mounted separately, into a container or next to the generating set. In the final stage, the generating sets are branded with the company logo, handled and placed on big trucks to be transported to the site where they are needed. Power generators are indeed the superheroes of our time, saving lives, reviving appliances and bringing light into our world.